I stayed in Mudgee last night as I had a very early start on the campaign trail this morning. And thank you to my parents-in-law who live in Mudgee. And I'm very fortunate to have them there because it's a convenient place to stay there in Mudgee. Sometimes when I'm either around the, the Mudgee area starting early or when I've had a, a long day on the campaign trail and I need somewhere to stay rather than drive back home to Dubbo. So thanks to my parents-in-law who've always got a bed there ready for me. I usually got a bit of food there for me as well. I did start very early this morning. I wanted to get out around the coal mining area that's near Mudgee. Now there's a lot of discussion as I travel around the electorate around renewables, we've got wind farms, we've got solar farms, a lot of discussion around climate change, but also some discussion around coal mine and the, the base power that we all want to have for the reliability of power because we all have become accustomed to having electricity and we want that convenience of power and power prices is another thing to throw into the mix there. I did think it was important to go out around the coal mines and actually look at the coal mine, get some detailed look at, the, the, at any coal mine, just to make sure I had as much information as possible. I'm going to keep talking about power and coal mining and renewables. I hopefully will be able to make decisions on that if I'm elected. I think it's important that I've got some information on there. And Wilpen Jong, the staff there, were very generous with their time. Thank you to all the staff there who gave me their time today. They gave, went through and gave me some presentations and they took me out and we went around some of the coal mining areas so I could see firsthand some of the coal mining that was happening. And, and I think it's really important, as I have travelled around the whole electorate and gone out to experience things, really important to see things firsthand, to experience things firsthand. It's all well and good to sit at a desk and look up things on the internet or talk to people on the phone. But getting out there in the real world, I think, is, is a really important thing to do. So I've got some great information from that. The, the economic benefits to Mudgee are quite incredible. 18.1% of the employment in raw numbers comes from coal mining directly in Mudgee. 36.1% of the GRP, the gross regional product, comes from the coal mines and the coal mine related industries. So imagine if you stopped coal mines tomorrow in Mudgee, you would cruel the entire economy. So Coal mining is incredibly important for the economy, but we've got to look at the long-term future for coal mining and, and what that means, the wider implications, and how we can make sure that Mudgee's economy can survive as that coal mining environment might change. So thank you to everyone involved today. I, I really appreciate the time there. I, I finished there in the afternoon. I went back into my campaign office in Mudgee, and it was good to chat to my volunteers there. I really appreciate the time given to me by all my volunteers across my four campaign offices. There's people manning those every day, having discussions with people every day, and it's really appreciated by myself. But also it was a good chance for me to stay there and just talk to some people that dropped in and, and have some discussions around things that were important. Just because I was out on the coal mine fields to, or at the coal mines today, it was a good chance to talk to some people about coal mining as they came in and dropped in. Um, but again, just whatever people wanted to talk about. I was there to talk about things and, and have some various discussions. Uh, I left there fairly late and I'm just making it home to Dubbo now and uh, I'll, I'll basically go home and catch up on a few emails now. Got an early start again tomorrow morning, but tomorrow night I'll be back in Mudgee. There's a community forum on. I encourage everyone to go along to that. It's a great chance. Hopefully we'll have all five candidates there. Great chance to take questions from the audience and really let people see the five candidates and, and what we all believe we can do to make this electorate better. I'm a big fan of, of choosing the individual candidate that you think is going to best represent this electorate. And, uh, and I hope people can see what we're all about and, and have a discussion or hear a discussion from all five of us and make their mind up about who they'd like to vote for come the 23rd of March. This has been Matthew Dickerson, your independent voice.